In this video, we're going to discuss troubleshooting direct drive minor gauges. One thing to remember about the Phoenix direct drive system is the drivers for the minor gauges are in the larger speedo and tech. The minor gauges are basically blank and all of the function is from the driver unit in the large gauge. This means that any gauge can be plugged into any port and it will move. The function, however, must, be, must match the proper port letter, B, C, or D, to read properly. This process is to check for erratic or non-responsive gauges only. Inaccurate readings are covered in other troubleshooting materials. In the event that there is an issue with the minor gauges acting a little funny, this video will show you how to go through and diagnose the issue so we can get you up and running again. There are hundreds of hand soldered connections in the system, so this is the best way to figure out where the issue may be. Turn on the gauges. They should sweep smoothly during startup as shown here. This shows that the gauges and the C and D plugs are operating properly. Now as we start the gauges, you'll see the voltmeter is on plug C and the fuel is on plug D. The voltmeter is erratic, so you'll check to see if it's the plug or the gauge. So now we're going to move the voltmeter to the C plug, which we know is good from the previous video. We're going to restart the gauges. Okay, we can see that they both move properly, battery and fuel gauge. They're in the center and the D plug. So what that's telling us is the jumper B plug is bad. So as long as you can remember that and tell us that's, that you did this test and we, we uh, can get you up and running quickly. In this example, we will start the gauges and you will see the voltmeter is now on the C plug and the boost gauge is on the D plug. You can see that the boost gauge is non-responsive. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to swap the plugs. So we're going to plug the voltmeter on the D, the boost on the, the C. Now we're going to restart the gauges. Okay, the voltmeter works properly. That's on the D plug. So that tells us by the voltmeter being in the, the C plug and the D plug and that works properly that both those plugs are good. And then the boost gauge does not operate properly in either plug. That tells us that it's, the issue is actually inside the, the boost gauge. So this is something that we can take care of quickly to get you up and running. As long as we've run this test and have diagnosed whether it's the plug uh, on the back of the gauge or the actual minor gauge, it's real easy to get you up and running. By going through this quick troubleshooting, you can help us help you get up and running quickly. Remember that this video only covers erratic or non-responsive movements. If you are able to diagnose if it is a bad jumper board driver or individual gauge by using this video, let us know and we can get you up and going quickly. Again, once we figure this out, um, you can just contact us very easily, either by email, service at newvintageusa.com, on the phone, 248-850-5482, or you can always get with us on Facebook or Instagram Messenger, and we'll get back with you right away. Thanks for watching.